to record this at maximum hair craziness before I get a haircut. So if you're at all a person who keeps an eye on like the gaming awards season, certainly you saw last year Daniel Mullen's inscription get all sorts of critical praise around the time that Game of the Year was rolling around. It was, in addition to many others, Subpixel's Game of the Year for 2021, but that's not the game that I want to talk about today. I'm here today because I want to talk about Pony Island, the first formal release from famed inscription developer Daniel Mullins. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. I played Pony Island for the very first time, I believe several days after it first came out, knowing hardly anything about it. I played through it in about two hours with a friend of mine, Sam Stewart, uh, lead singer and bass player of Flagman. Listen to Flagman. <laughs> And it was just buck wild from start to finish. I'm not going to talk about the specifics of it too deeply because if you've played Inscription or if you've played The Hex, you'll know that Pony Island has a lot of those very kind of clever Daniel Mullins-isms where it just starts to play with your expectations of the kind of game that you're playing and it just really gets into your skin and messes with your head until you have no idea what could possibly be coming next. But the short of the long is Pony Island is a game within a game, and that game within the game is designed by Satan. There's some side-scrolling, there's some point-and-clicking, there's some hacking, there's puzzles, there's battles, there's just a lot going on under the hood for a game that takes about two hours to complete. I interviewed Daniel Mullins a couple years ago right after The Hex came out to talk about The Hex and Pony Island, and so you can watch both of those videos elsewhere on the channel, I'll link them below. But if you haven't played Pony Island, don't go watch the Pony Island video because it has a huge spoiler in it for arguably one of the most crazy moments in the whole game that you just need to experience for yourself. And I'm making this video, yes, to tell you, the broader viewing audience, that you should play Pony Island, but because even though Inscription was Subpixel's 2021 Game of the Year, I'm the only member of the team that has played Pony Island, even after my persistent nagging to the other three guys here that they need to play Pony Island. So this is for you, you nerds. Play Pony Island. So yeah, Pony Island. I don't know how long this episode of Play This is going to be because there's really not a whole lot I can or want to talk about Pony Island that won't ruin the experience for you. But you should play it. You should play Pony Island. If you wandered into an arcade one day and found a cabinet that said it was made by the devil, would you play it? Let us know in the comments and leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Get a lot of great more content just like this. As always, I am Jake Terrio. This has been another episode of Play This on Subpixel. And thank you for watching.